So if you're familiar with Piper aircraft, you know these airplanes, they don't have a door on this side. I think I know why, but should have put a door on this side. So people complain about that, but what people really don't tell you, it's not even so much about having one door, it's the how the door works that's kind of a problem. So here's the wing, here's the door. Rarely in your life do you have to stand on something and then essentially sit at the same level you're standing. The seat is basically at the same level as the wing. It's easy to sit down on the ground, which is basically what you're doing, but you have to transition to sitting on the ground as you're going through this little portal. So uh, I'm gonna show you some of the different methods people have figured out for getting into and getting out of a single door Piper aircraft. This also counts for Moonies, Bonanzas, any other low wing aircraft, except for the Cirrus, because you somehow that one's easier. The first entry method into the airplane is referred to as the infant. That's because you start by crawling up to the airplane on your hands and knees, and then you enter the cabin head first. If you're the pilot, this is the ideal entry method. If you're a passenger, you're going to end up laying across the pilot's lap briefly. Once you're inside the plane, you want to roll over onto your back, and then you want to take your right leg, and you're going to want to swing it over the top of the door and bring it into the cockpit. Now you're going to take your left leg and pull it inside, and once you get settled in, you can close the door because you've done it. The next entry method is referred to as the spinal tap. You approach the plane as you normally would. The only difference is you're gonna put your right leg behind your left leg and do this sort of pirouette maneuver. Now what you wanna do is support all of your body weight on your hands and slowly lower yourself down like you're recovering from lower back surgery. And if you're over 40, you can even make old man noises, grunting and sighing as you lower yourself into the seat. This next entry method is referred to as the Dukes of Hazard. You approach the door like you normally would, and you can enter with whichever leg makes you more comfortable, but once you have yourself staged and you're ready, it's just a quick leap of faith and down into the seat. I don't really recommend this method because these old planes tend to have a lot of sharp edges, and as you can see right there. And the things I'll do for a laugh. The reverse breach is another very popular entry method. It starts off with a maneuver known as the marriage proposal. You get down on one knee, and now you're going to want to rest your weight on one hand on the wing. The next thing you want to do is get oriented so that you can put your feet into the airplane first. You're going to swing your legs into the cockpit. Now you're going to lift your butt up off the wing into the passenger seat, slide over to the pilot seat. You're good to go. This entry method doesn't have a name, but it's the one I use the most. First, I want to step up onto the wing. Even though they say you can stand on the flap, I choose not to. Now you want to open the door, ensuring that you don't put any weight on the top of the door. It can't handle the load. I take one leg, step into the cockpit. Now I take my other leg, step into the cockpit. And now making sure I don't put any weight on the door, lower myself into the passenger seat. Sometimes you stumble. Once you're in the passenger seat, now you can just slide over into the pilot seat and you're good to go. This maneuver known as the natural childbirth method is very uncommon, but it's extremely efficient. What you're gonna do is slide out of the passenger door head first onto the wing. This is very easy to do. You're gonna push yourself with your legs. Now swing your body around and simply roll off into a awkward dismount, but you're gonna walk it off like it was uh, normal and intended. This next exit maneuver is called the John McClane. It's not very efficient, but it's a lot of fun. What you're gonna do is crawl head first through the door, just like Bruce Willis did through those ventilation shafts in Die Hard, which by the way was a Christmas movie and I'm willing to die on that hill. Now what you wanna do is crawl out on your hands and knees onto the wing until you're fully out of the plane you're going to want to grab this handle, and here's the best part. This maneuver always finishes with a very graceful dismount. Similar to the entry methods, there's an exit method called the breach delivery as well. It's called that because you're going to exit feet first. Step one is to lift your legs up and put them out onto the wing of the airplane. This can be cumbersome, but once you've done that, you want to scoot out onto the wing and transition into a maneuver we call baby's first steps. Once you've completed all of that, you just stroll off the end of the wing like it was nothing. This next exit maneuver is called the kamikaze. It's the simplest, and in my opinion, the most elegant. All you do is pull yourself out onto the wing however you see fit, and then just let gravity do with your body whatever it's going to do. Look at that. It was nothing.
All right, guys, so now you know all of the approved methods for entering and exiting a low-wing airplane like a Piper, a Bonanza, a Mooney. Um, not only do you need to understand these maneuvers, but you also need to be able to teach them. You're going to have passengers that want to fly with you in your plane, and they're not going to understand the gymnastics required to get in and get out of the plane. They're going to get tangled up in seat belts, and it's going to be a headache. So the best bet is for you to go back and watch the video again, this time with pen and paper, and make sure that you thoroughly understand the only FAA-approved maneuvers for entering and exiting low-wing aircraft. It's going to save a lot of headache for you and your passengers. So that's the video. I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate everybody who supports the channel. Thank you to the Patreons. Gold Seal, thank you so much for sponsoring the channel. I hope everyone's having a great holiday season. Uh, Merry Christmas in advance. Uh, you guys fly smart, and i uh, catch you in the next one. A lot of the maneuvers were named after baby stuff. I don't understand that part. There was like an infant reference and a toddler and there was some birthing reference. I don't understand. You know what? Take it up with the FAA. They're the ones that named these uh, maneuvers. I had nothing to do with it. So it's, uh, it's weird though. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.